Hi, I'm Ilka Oster. Good morning, I'm Joe Drennan. Well, here we are again at Malulabar Beach and I've been thinking the last week, why am I here? <laughs> why, why, do we, why do Joe and I come down here early every Wednesday morning and want to talk to you about parenting is the, the thing that we've really latched onto and it's really something that I've struggled with over my life. It's not something I've found easy. Um, and I go, why do I want to talk to people about something that was so hard and something that I don't actually think I, I never fitted into this thing of what a good mother uh, looked like. I mean, I was good at pretending on the outside. I was very good at people pleasing. Um, but, you know, this is kind of... I suppose why is because um, that's what I'm really, really uh, wanting to get the message out there that even though I struggled a lot and it was very, very challenging, I probably the most meaning came through through being a parent. And um, yeah, what that's about it. You two? Ne neither of us feel when I, when I think of parenting or mothering in particular, and I think about what society has taught taught me what that word what mothering means is around words like nurturing connection kindness caring and through the media through cards through fairy tales that sort of thing and neither of us feel like we fit that typical role and uh and have even had the discussion about well, well why did we have children and when i think about it i i think it has extreme meaning for me in that I feel like I really found myself um, through this parenting process, through like living in, in close knit with with children and with a partner. There's there's no getting away from that. Like you can't if, divorce well, them. You can't divorce your children, <laughs> can you? Um, so you know, day in day out, you are you are in close relationships with the, with these people and and I think you get a choice to either blame the children for for their behavior and oh they they're just doing all these bad things or that's when you get the opportunity to look in the mirror look at yourself look at all these all their behaviors that get under your skin that you're going that's about them when actually it's not it's about ourselves yeah and I think one of the hardest things for me to come down here and get on camera and talk about this stuff is often even the night before, like last night, I've had some, you know, altercation or some kind of discussion with my child that didn't turn out very well and I went into my triggers and I got upset and I, I think, I really do often go, who am I? <laughs> you know, I'm talking about parenting so so it's not that I don't still have challenges it's not still that I don't struggle um, but I do I have learned tools in the last five years that really really helped me to get out the other, other side of those triggers and struggles a lot quicker um, and just and not stay not stay in them. I mean, I could stay in things for weeks. I could you know go over things and judgments and stuff in my head for months on end, and then throw them back at people later. Like I, I just I really am like I'm teaching from what I learn and try, trying to just be totally like to sit in front of this camera and be totally myself. It's very difficult because I've been such again the people pleasing. Like I'm more concerned about perhaps what you think of me or what somebody else um, might say about this or whatever but but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, well we just want to uh, teach mm. for want of a better word through our own experiences perhaps in, inspire from where where we were at the beginning of our parenting journey and who we were back in our younger years and and the changes that we've made and who we've become now and we're we're both very different people to what we were 30 odd years ago That's and it's so sure. yeah <laughs> thankfully <laughs> thankfully <laughs> yeah so it's about um don't stop it <laughs> uh it's about being real and that um we 
we we often pretended on the outside looked like we had our stuff together completely while uh, inside inside our homes but more so inside of us uh, things weren't going so great for us but now we live uh, <laughs> much more meaningful purposeful lives and uh, this is yeah. part of doing this the awakened parenting programs courses workshops this gives us great meaning to our lives it does it does it really does and if i can help one person to not go through some of the stuff that happened i mean when i had my first child and it's really hard to admit this on camera because it's supposed to be joyful it's supposed to be an amazing experience and it wasn't that it, like a, a lot of my memory of it now which i've actually changed but it wasn't it wasn't that and so i i do get that it's not always um you know how it's how it's supposed to be but if i can help one person to understand that that's usually not about them it's about something they just haven't faced in themselves and it really is easy to change um yeah but it does take a lot of courage a lot of courage to actually go inside and start looking at some of your behaviors and and some of the the thought processes of, that you're carrying around inside your head again normally from things you've experienced in childhood and and really going in and and um and and dealing with all of that that you can that you can change it it's not something that you have to live with for the rest of your life which is which is i thought i would have to i just thought that was me yeah um, me but it's not it's not just you um there's a re there's always reasons why you do the things that you do um, and that you are the way that you are, and, and they can change. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it's interesting that we, we've only come to know one another later in our lives in the past few years. However, we have lots of similarities. And one of the uh, major things I find is that uh, we, in our parenting when our kids were younger, and in our lives in general, we, to avoid feelings, we went to thought. We would yeah. always go to thought so that we didn't have to um, feel the feelings. And now we understand better that feelings, emotions can be these great messengers for, for clearing up some stuff inside you and getting to the other side and living a happier life. Yeah. It's, it's amazing to me. I mean, fear was a big one for me. I was, I was just so afraid of everything. And... Um, and now like I can sit with that fear and 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 notice it in my body and connect with it I mean it, use that word connection for me to to connect with another human being it meant usually means you have to connect with yourself first now if that means that fear is the first thing that comes up when you connect with yourself then you often yeah go to well, I went to thinking to avoid doing that um, but once you do understand how to connect with that fear, know that it's really like not your enemy. It's not something you need to hate or um, that you can love that fear and that you can make peace with that fear. Then your whole life, it turns around. Like it, it's, it's just the most incredible thing. And that's what I want for everybody on the planet to be able to experience. Yeah. So, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Being uh, doing our uh, awakened parenting courses, we're possibly the only course out there who won't actually give you any parenting advice. That no. is not what it's about. <laughs> it's about looking at yourself. It is. It is. So yeah, we, we're looking forward to bringing you more videos, uh, working on ourselves so that we can um, be really, uh, be as real as we possibly can, yeah. and um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us and we'll see you again next Wednesday at Mooloolaba. And inspire your children and inspire someone else today yeah. by being yourself. Absolutely. Yeah.